To understand how hummingbird fish finders and fishing systems work and what makes them superior, a basic understanding of sonar technology is essential. The sonar in any fish finder works like this. The transducer in the boat sends out sound waves that expand as they travel, forming a cone. They bounce off the bottom, structure, and fish. The receiver picks up the returning sonar wave, and the sonar unit digitally processes the signal to become what you see on screen. In a typical hummingbird, this happens up to 50 times every second to provide an accurate picture. On a hummingbird, the real-time sonar at the far right of the display shows you what's directly beneath the boat at that very moment. Everything you see to the left of that is the history or what you have passed over in your boat. These sonar cones can be made to scan in different ways. A narrow cone is ideal for uncovering structure with excellent detail about the bottom, but its fish finding capabilities are limited to that narrow path. Wider beams give you wider coverage and more opportunities to detect fish. They also reveal structure, but without the detail of a narrow beam. Humminbird has solutions to the limitations of both beams, which you can learn about in the next sections. Fish arches are the raw returns of fish passing through your sonar beam. Many experienced anglers prefer seeing the arches on screen to identify fish. Your other option is to get a little extra help from your hummingbird and turn on Fish ID. With Fish ID selected, fish show up as fish symbols. On select units, you can even tell a fish's size by the size of symbol displayed or tell the unit to display only fish of a certain size. Working with all this technology together in different ways, the Humminbird user has a distinct on-the-water advantage.